Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the readable question equal row and the crown pairs. So you are given the index n by n integer matrix grid, return the number of pair uh, r, c, such that row r and the crown c are equal. A row and the crown pair is uh, considered equal if they contain the same element in the same order. So let's see the example. So you are given this matrix and the output is 1 because uh, um, so row 2, so this row and uh, this crumb is a uh, exact same same element and uh, in the same order like a 277 277 so that's why in this case output is one okay so let me explain with this example so to solve this question i use a hash map and uh, my strategy is first of all i create a um, key using a uh, uh, row values so what I'm trying to say is that like uh, so first of all so we are here and then so we are uh, we are using a row values like three two one so when we create a key so I use a, a tuku so like a three two one this is the first key and then create a second key with one seven six so one seven six and the third key should be 277. So we keep this key in the hash map. And then uh, we do the same thing um, for column direction. So like a, we create a key like a 3, 1, 2. And then um, check the hash map. But there is no 3, 1, 2. So that's why uh, we, we don't count. And then move next. We can create a, like a 277 and then uh, check the hash map so we have a 277 that means um, we plus one and then um, next um, 167 and then check hash map so there is a similar key but uh, not exact same so in that case uh, we don't add anything so and then we check all um, row and crumbs so that's why in this case output is one yeah a very simple algorithm so with that being said let's get into the code okay so first of all uh, let me implement uh, the solution code with brute force so first of all um, I initialize count um, and uh, with zero so this is a return value and n so this matrix is n by n so we keep the length of matrix, so grid. And then, so this is a brute force solution. So we compare like a one by one. So for R in range and uh, N, the for C, so crumb in range and the N. And uh, so let's call is, is much um, true. So if um, is much is true, um, add plus one to uh, like a count variable. And then, so we need a one more for loop for i in range and n. And if grid r and i is not equal uh, grid i and c, in the case is match equal false and then immediately break right we don't have to uh, like a uh, check um, like a list of one word right uh, no list of number right so uh, we can immediately break and then after that just a call um, so if is match in that case, um, count plus equal one. Yeah, that's it. So after that, return count. Yeah, so let me submit it. Looks good, but a very slow algorithm, just a bit 9%. So time complexity of this solution should be O n cube. So that's because we use uh, three loops. One is for row, one is for crown, and uh, the last one is a uh, check um, like all possible pairs 
So that's why O n cube. But this solution is uh, like a space complexity is O1. So next, I uh, implement a solution code with hash map. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize the count variable, uh, initialize it with zero. So this is a return value. And uh, this matrix is n by n. So keep the length of uh, matrix, so length of grid. And then um, we use a hash map, so initialized with uh, empty hash map. And then um, start looping. First of all, create a, a key for uh, using a, a row values. So i in range and n. And then row and uh, we use a tuple and then grid i equal one plus row dot get and a tuple and a grid and the i if um, there is no uh, key this key so default value should be uh, zero and then we use a one more for loop for column so column in range and uh, n so we create a um, key using a uh, column values. So call equal and then um, grid i and uh, c for i in range and n. So I believe we can create a, a um, key using a uh, row values and then if uh, tuple uh, column in row in the case count plus equal row and the uh, tuple and the uh, column Oops. Like, like this and then after that just return count yeah that's it so let me submit it Looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n square, where n is the size of grid. So this is because there are two nested loops uh, iterating over the grid, so resulting in on square. So that's why. And the space complexity is also order of n square. So this is because the row dictionary um, store unique rows of grid as a key. And the size of dictionary can be up to uh, n square in the worst case if all rows are distinct. So that's why. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.